Good morning. Uh, welcome. It is Friday, so it is Jacob Wetterly Resource Center Story Day. Um, I actually have two books. Um, they're both a little short, so I thought we'd do two today. One is Corduroy by Dan Freeman, authored and illustrated by Dan Freeman. And the other is If You Give a Pig a Pancake. So probably most of you guys know um, the original one. This is by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. So I thought we would start with Corduroy. Corduroy by Dan Freeman. This was one of my daughter's favorite books. Um, at one point we had a little Corduroy. I'm not sure where he is. We'll have to find him. Corduroy was a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for someone to come along and take him home. Pretty cute. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. <gasps> oh, mommy, she said, look, that's the very bear I have always wanted. Not today, dear. Her mother sighed, I've spent too much money already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost one of the buttons to his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go see if I can find it. Do you think Corduroy is going to find his button? Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone home and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf. and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Do you see his button? Suddenly he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Is that a mountain? Oh, the escalator. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. And there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy guessed. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And he crawled up on a large, thick mattress. At once, he saw something small and round. <gasps> Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. 
Do you think that's his button? He yanked and he pulled with both paws until pop, off came the button and off of the mattress, Corduroy tumbled. Oh no. Bang into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Uh oh, but Corduroy's okay. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above when he heard the crash and came racing down the escalator. Now, who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding in here. You know where Corduroy is? He flashed his light under and over the sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the covers. Who is that? Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the toy department with all of the other toys and animals. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store and there looking at him with a wide warm smile was the same little girl he'd seen just the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I'd saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said, I can bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight into her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Can you see the little bed for corduroy? Just his size. Lisa sat down with corduroy on her lap and she began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. She's giving Corduroy a brand new button. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and she gave him a big hug. The end. So that was Corduroy, authored and illustrated by Don Freeman. Thank you, Corduroy. All right, now this one is kind of a silly book. 
If you give a pig a pancake by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Vaughn. If you give a pig a pancake, what do you think happens? She'll probably get all sticky. So she'll want to take a bath. Do you think it's the syrup that makes pancakes sticky? She'll ask you for some bubbles. And when you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask you for a toy. And you'll have to find your rubber duck. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born, and she might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too, and she'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then she'll look under your bed, and when she's under your bed, She'll find your old tap shoes and she'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. Do you have any treasures hidden under your bed? When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. Do you think pigs like to dance? Then she'll want you to take her picture, so you'll have to go get your camera. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. And then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. Oh my goodness, look at that silly picture. Do you ever take silly pictures and send them to your friends? Or maybe grandma and grandpa? You'll have to give her envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard and she'll want to build a tree house. Whew. She has a very busy pig, isn't she? Do you ever send letters and put stamps and then go to the mailbox? So you'll have to get some wood and a hammer and some nails. And when the tree house is finished, what do you think she's gonna want? She'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for some wallpaper and some glue. Looks like a fun tree house. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. And feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. And she'll probably ask you for more. Do you remember at the beginning of the book when she was all sticky from the pancakes? And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, what 
What do you think she's going to ask for? She'll want a pancake to go with it. Whew, that was a very busy pig. That was If You Give a Pig a Pancake by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. Sorry, that's kind of great. So thank you today for joining us for Jacob Waterly Resource Center. Story time. Again, we had corduroy and we had If You Give a Pig a Pancake. Thank you so much for joining us. We know that the story time um, is just a, a small thing that we can do, but we hope that you enjoy it with your children. And um, we would love if you have some books that you would like to request, um, go ahead. We will um, post this on our Facebook page and in the chat. If you want to request some books, we will do our best to possibly find those. I know that some libraries are open and some are not, but maybe if there's a special book and we can find it, we can read it. So thank you again for joining us and have a great weekend. And remember to keep reading.